In this video, we'll show Helios in action for a real-time IoT analytics scenario. We'll ingest 8 gigs of raw data simulating 130 million smart meter readings collected over a few weeks. With millions of meters deployed, utilities have the challenge of providing immediate answers on the health of equipment and power used to preempt equipment failures and prevent power outages. What you're seeing now is an operational dashboard powered by Helios showing real-time views of smart meters. This view tracks the number of meter alarms and it identifies high and low read alarms. The area chart below shows alarms by type over time. In the daily aggregation view, you see the sum of all meters power detection by day. In just a moment, we'll take a look at the Helios queries behind these visualizations. We can see here in MemSQL Studio that we're writing as many as a million rows per second. That number not just includes the raw data written directly from Kafka via MemSQL pipelines, but also the calculated data generated by the stored procedures fed by the pipelines. We have three pipelines subscribed to three Kafka topics. A pipeline in Helios is a built-in component which allows you to perform ELT, Extract, Load, and Transform, from a variety of streaming and static sources such as Kafka, S3 Buckets, Azure Blobs, Hadoop, the file system, and pipelines read a variety of formats, such as JSON, CSV, and Parquet files. Clicking View All here, we can get the runtime diagnostics on our pipelines. We can see the state of each pipeline, if any batches have failed or succeeded, the last time the batch was run, and the number of rows. We can refresh this to get the current count. Let's take a look at the definition of the AMI Reads pipeline. Here in the console, you'll see the pipeline definition. And the AMI pipeline reads from a Kafka topic called AMI reads every two and a half seconds. And it selects that data into the procedure name data validation. With MemSQL pipelines, you can select it into tables or procedures. Now let's take a look at our ingestion speed. As we just saw, we're writing about a million rows a second, but are we keeping up with Kafka? Let's run a query to see. We'll open the SQL editor, close the console so we can see the result, and load our query. This query runs against the information schema, which holds the metadata for our database. You may recognize this as the system catalog or data dictionary. In the results below, we can see that we're keeping up with Kafka when our Kafka lag column is zero. Our pipeline writes data to the stored procedure named data validation, which in turn derives data and calculates it, populating the AMI alarms table, among others. So let's run some queries against AMI alarms. The first gives us a count of the alarms. We're still ingesting data, so we can see this number grow as the stored procedure writes this calculated data to the AMI alarms column store. Now we'll run the alarms by type over time, and we see this query runs in under 100 milliseconds. The first time we execute it, we'll compile it. Subsequent runs run shorter than that, close to 67, 70 milliseconds. The queries we just ran correspond to these KPIs and the area chart below. Now we'll run the queries for the daily aggregations view. This query will give us the meter average power consumption and sum by day by meter. As we've got hundreds of thousands of meters, we've limited this query to just 10, and this returns in a few hundred milliseconds. If we increase the rows, rows returned by 100, we still see it returns in roughly the same amount of time as it did with only 10 rows. We increase this to a thousand rows. It's still roughly on average 300 milliseconds. Finally, we'll look at the year and month aggregation. And again, what's significant about these queries is they're running on data that's being written to the AMI reads and AMI alarms table as it's being ingested real time from the pipelines and still we're executing this in just a couple hundred milliseconds. 
The value of MemSQL Helios for this is its ability to simultaneously handle streaming meter data with ultra-fast writes for transactional data and analytic workloads of this fast-changing data. Helios does all of this in a single data store with the full power of ANSI SQL. Try this yourself by spinning up a Helios cluster, the link's on the left, and if you have any questions, use the email link on the right. Thanks for watching.